Hi friends, it's Dr. Cherry, the art teacher. For my new friends, my name is Dr. Cherry. I'm the art teacher. Now normally you would come to my art room and I would explain to you where everything is and the flow of the room and the expectations. So this year we're gonna start off a little bit differently. Once we get back into the building, we'll review and we'll talk about the space in the building. But for now, this is our space and that's okay. So I am filming from my backyard and that is one of the silver linings of our virtual learning environment. You can make art anywhere you want to, not just in my classroom. So we are going to start by reminding ourselves that art is made with anything, not just art materials. You can find objects, you can create with anything that you have at your house. But we're going to try and start with some simple materials this year. Now I've collected a bag of things that we can start with. A simple tray of watercolor art materials. A Sharpie marker, which is just a black permanent marker. It doesn't have to be the Sharpie brand, but a black marker, permanent marker is important. Pencil. Ruler. A pencil sharpener. Some crayons. Doesn't have to be the big box, but any crayons will do. A couple of glue sticks. An eraser. Some markers. They can be the big kind or the skinny kind. If you're lucky enough to have both, that's awesome. You know how much we love Mr. Sketch, the smelly markers. You don't have to get Mr. Sketch. You can use whatever you have at home. Colored pencils. Now, if you've been in my class, you know we've tried these. These are the colored pencils that don't need to be sharpened. And that's nice because then you don't create any waste. And occasionally we need some tape. So we're going to have all of these things in our baggie, giant bag, and you'll probably put your name on it so that when we return to the building, you can bring that with you to our class. I suspect that we're not going to be sharing materials right away, so that way we'll be ready and everybody will have exactly what they need. The most important thing is your art notebook, your sketchbook. If you have yours from last year, if you were with me the last year and the year before, you probably have yours. If you have yours from last year and you still have extra pages, just continue to use it. You don't need a new one. Just start with the blank page and keep going, okay? If you don't have one, what we use for our art notebooks are simple composition notebooks. I see them at Target and Walmart now for 50 cents. Um, if you have a notebook that was from another class that you still have pages in, just use that. You don't need to buy a new one if you have blank pages. Um, this morning I was digging around and I found one from many years ago and it still had a couple of pages, not many, but we use the art notebooks for all of our ideas. That's where we keep everything. So if we look at this one, this one was a long time ago, 2017, 2018. So I kept some of my meeting notes, some of my ideas for classes, my rubric, let's see, get some good, oh, some of my sketch ideas. Some of my kids with their pictures. Some of my kids' chores. Meeting information. Ideas for classes. I would also cut out pictures of things that I wanted to try at home or at school. Information for the art club. 
So it's where I kept all of my ideas, my sketches, all in one place. So it was really nice to have just one place to go to for all of my ideas. So I started a new one this year just because it's a new year and I wanted to start fresh. So I made a new cover because I didn't want it to just be plain like this. And also, you know, when we get back to the building, everyone's going to have their art notebooks and a lot of them may look the same. And so we want yours to be special and look different. And so your first assignment is to get some paper, any kind of paper. It could be computer paper or an index card or um, a piece of cardboard, anything you want. You can make just plain paper from the printer. And you're going to design the cover of your art journal. So for mine, I just wrote art and Dr. C and I drew cherries because that's my last name. And then I wrote the year, 2020 to 2021. So this is where I'm gonna start keeping all of my ideas. So I started with a sketch of something I think we might want to do, some ideas, things that I wanted to share with you. I've got some notes that I want to tape in for future assignments and plans for the school year. So we're going to get started right away. Your first assignment is to find an art book. It could be a brand new one. It could be one that you used for another class last year. If you're one of my kindergarten friends, um, you could ask your mom or dad if they have an old composition notebook that still has a few pages left in it that you could use. But do not tear any pages out. The way these things are made is that it's sewn together in the center, right down the middle. It's sewn together. So if you rip the pages out, the other pages will start to fall out too. So we want to make sure we don't rip pages out. And we want to keep all of our ideas. Even if they don't work out right now, you could go back later and work on that old idea and turn it into something new. So you want to keep all of your ideas. You have no bad ideas. You may have ideas that don't work for your current project, but they may work for a project later on. So we're going to keep them all. And you learn from your mistakes. We don't really call them mistakes. We call them happy accidents. So no tearing out of pages. So your first assignment is to get an art journal, composition notebook. It could be used. It could be one that you had last year or the year before for my older friends. Um, it could be one you use for another subject. Just start a, start a new page and create your art journal. So there were a few things that I wanted to talk to you about. We're not in the art room, we're in our art space. My little sign has fallen down. I'm outside, so it's kind of humid out. So in our art space, there are no bad ideas. Every idea is a good one. They may not always fit the assignment, they're always good ideas. So you will write them down and if they don't work for this assignment they may work for another assignment later. The expectation is that you will do your best. That's it. Do your best, forget everything else. I like to say do your best and forget the rest. Just keep trying. In order to pass art class all I want you to do is try your best and follow the directions. That's it. It's all you have to do. You have to try and complete the assignment. I don't really care how it turns out. I just want to see that you're trying mm -hmm. because in order to improve, you have to try, right? Um, there are a lot of silver linings to working virtually, working remotely. This is one of them. I'm not stuck in the classroom. You're not stuck inside. You can take your art notebook and work anywhere. You can work outside, you can work in a different room, you want to sketch nature, you can do that. The other thing I love about working virtually, another silver lining, is that you don't have to wait to art class to make art. You can make art any time that you want to, whenever you have free time. Any time that you want to. Now during the school year, you'd have to wait till your encore day for art. And sometimes that could be six days, seven days, 
it could be 10 days or 12 days depending on holidays or snow days but this way you can work on your assignment every day if you want to right that's pretty cool I love that idea so you actually have more time to work on your projects instead of less so that's a silver lining um, the other silver lining is you get to focus sometimes we have our best friends sitting next to us in class and we want to chat with them and we get a little off task and we fall behind well the silver lining is you can focus and you can do your best work now we'll meet together every time we have art class and so we'll get to share work and share ideas and brainstorm with each other so we'll still get to talk and see each other but then you have all of this time between meetings to work on your assignments so I want you to focus on the silver linings I miss you guys so much I miss hearing your ideas and the hugs and the high fives I miss the light bulbs that go off when you figure it out or when you come up with a solution that that I didn't figure out that's the best those are my favorite moments when you figure out something that I hadn't even thought of and I can use it with another class I get to say hey there was a kid in my last class he had this great idea let's try this but we're gonna still try and do those things we just can't be together right now it's so that everyone stays safe so I'm glad that you're back and I'm glad to see my new friends especially my kindergarten friends we're gonna have so much fun so for your first assignment, if nothing else, I want you to get an art journal, an art book. The supplies, do your best, don't worry about it. As long as you have your art journal and a pencil to start out with, we can work with that. We'll work with whatever you have available to you. So the art room rules, do your best, forget the rest. Follow directions and try your hardest. It's that simple, right? When we get back to the building, we have some other rules about when to use the sink and when to get up to go to the bathroom and talking while the teacher is talking and classroom stuff. But that doesn't really apply to us right now. Right now, we're going to focus on the silver lining. And the silver lining is that you get to do your art whenever you have free time. You get to take your art notebooks home, because you are home. Uh, in the building, we kept them in school, so we didn't lose them. So that's another silver lining. You get to work on it all the time. And you can always send me emails or notes. You can write when we meet again for another Zoom classroom. You can send me notes in the chat for new ideas or a different direction you'd like to go in. So it'll be almost like class, almost. I won't get to see and hug your sweet faces, but I'll get to see you through Zoom and we'll still get to make art together. So again, your first assignment, get an art journal. It could be any kind of composition notebook. Composition notebook is important because the pages don't fall out. The spiral bound notebooks, the spiral sometimes gets caught and then you have a whole other issues, but I like composition notebooks the best. You can use one from another class from last year if you still have one. Uh, if your older sibling or younger sibling has one that they didn't fill up, you can borrow one of theirs. But you're to make a new cover that represents you this year. And I found this cool type it's called bamboo I found it online and it just the letters look like bamboo and then I included my cherry logo so if you have an old old journal use that you could put your new cover on the front you could also put it on the inside say you're using an old one from previous years and you just Say this is the last plain page just flip it and start here maybe you want to put your journal cover on the inside so you know where you started you see on this one I have tabs so
So maybe you could put a tab where your new art journal starts. Okay, sounds good? Good, okay. Once again, my name is Dr. Cherry. If you need to send me an email, you will be able to. My email address is cherry, C-H-E-R-R-Y-L-A, at pwcs.edu. And I will have a Zoom room available. I'm sure you'll be able to click on it somewhere. And I can't wait for the year to get started. So have a great day, and I'll see you soon.